Today, we are going to talk about physical and chemical changes. Now, as we get into our lesson today, the first thing we want to mention is the world is full of stuff, right? And in science, we call all the stuff in the world matter. So literally everything in our world is matter. Fire is matter, an oven mitt is matter, a truck is matter, a tree is matter, a bag of food is matter, a chair is matter, water is matter. So literally anything that takes up space is matter. Just to remind you, today we are going to talk about physical and chemical changes. Physical and chemical changes are two ways that matter changes. And remember, all the stuff in the world is matter. Anything that takes up space is matter. So physical and chemical changes are two ways that all the stuff around us matter changes. All right, so what are physical and chemical changes? Well, physical changes are changes where the type of matter stays the same. Chemical changes are completely different because chemical changes are changes where the type of matter itself changes. The type of matter changes with chemical change. With physical change, the type of matter stays the same. Even though it changes, the type of matter stays the same. So with physical changes, the type of matter stays the same. But with chemical changes, the type of matter changes. Now you might say, ah, what does that mean? What is that doing? What are we doing here? We're going to show you some examples and then you're going to be like, ah, oh, oh my goodness, I know, I know the difference. I know, I know it. I've, I've learned it. It's coming. It's awesome. Physical and chemical changes. It's going to be cool. Let's give you an example, okay? This is a pie. This is a pie that has been baked. It looks like it's an apple pie, but who really knows what's inside, right? So this is a pie that has been baked. Now, when it was baked, was that a physical change or was that a chemical change? Well, the outside of it turned brown and the inside was cooked. So the inside changed, the type of matter itself changed with the crust turning brown and the inside getting cooked. So if the type of matter changed, then that must be a chemical change. It went through, it's a chemical change. Now let's look at this example. This is a pie that has been cut. Now the cutting of this pie, was the cutting a physical change or a chemical change because it changed, okay? It was one whole pie, now it's been cut. Has the type of matter changed because of the cutting? What do you think? Yeah, it's been a physical change because cutting doesn't change the type of matter. It just changes the size of the different pieces. But what the pie is made of doesn't change because of cutting. So the cutting of the pie is a physical change. Remember, with physical changes, the type of matter stays the same. With chemical changes, the type of matter changes. Here we have a picture of some huge logs. Trees were cut down to make these logs. Now, when the trees were cut, was that a physical or a chemical change to those trees? Yeah, a physical change because the type of matter, which is the logs, the wood, the wood did not change. The type of matter did not change. It was a physical change. Now let's say you take some of those logs and you make a fire from it and the logs are burned in the fire. The burning, is that a physical or a chemical change? I know you got this, which one is it? 
Yeah, it's a chemical change because it's changing the type of matter. The wood turns black and it can turn into ashes. It changes the wood itself. It's a chemical change. Great job. Here we have a picture of a metal gate that has been knocked down and it looks like it's bent maybe it got run into by something really large this gate has been broken is that a physical or a chemical change remember with physical change the type of matter doesn't change but with a chemical change it does is this a physical or chemical change this is a physical change it's knocked it down but it hasn't changed the type of of matter so it's a physical change look at this gate it looks all rusted the gate has been rusted have you ever seen a gate like this now the rusting is that something that's a physical or a chemical change is it physical or a chemical change yeah it's a chemical change because it's changed the type of matter. All right, here we have a picture of a little boy getting a haircut. Haircuts are really cool. Okay, all right, I get excited about haircuts. It's true. <laughs> it's just something, something that I've got going on. Okay, physical or chemical change. Is this a physical or chemical change? Well, let's think about it. The hair is cut, right? So it's shorter, but did the type of matter change? The type of matter is hair. So did the hair itself change? No, the hair didn't change. It's just shorter. That means it's a physical change. Oh, what about this? Oh, a marshmallow roasting over a fire. How great is that? You know, if you put the cracker and the chocolate, then you got us some more. Really great stuff. But is the change that's happening right here as this marshmallow is beginning to melt, it's in the fire, it's roasting, is that a physical or chemical change? This one might be a little easier. Yeah, it's a chemical change. The type of matter itself is changing. It's darkening. It's turning into something different. The last example we want to give today before we finish is with ice changing into or melting into water. And what kind of change is that? Well, Ice is the frozen version of water, so it's still the same type of matter. So when ice melts, that is still considered a physical change, even though the state of the matter has changed from solid to liquid, it's still a physical change because it's the same type of matter. Well, that's all for our lesson today. You know, we see matter every day. The earth is full of stuff. And it's called matter. And there are changes that happen. Physical changes, which are changes that don't change the type of matter. And then chemical changes, which are changes that are so big, actually changes the type of matter. Physical and chemical changes. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you next time.